My main specialty is reproductive biology in its broadest sense, everything from the evolution of the reproductive system to the practical sense of how does the environment or how do, how do things we do every day affect our fertility and our ability to have healthy children. Well, I think the biomedicine model, I think what people don't appreciate is how much wildlife and the things living around us can tell us about the health of the environment and actually tell us something about our own health. As we like to say, if the environment's not healthy for a baby alligator or a baby dolphin, it's probably not healthy for us either. Um, is there a one-to-one -one relationship? In other words, does everything we see in the environment tell us something about human health? The answer, of course, is no. But I think there's, there's a lot more connection than what we thought. The, the specialty of my lab group is, if in, in a number of words, reproductive endocrinology, developmental genetics, um, environmental health. <clears throat> how, how do environmental factors, contaminants, or things that we don't even think about contaminants, personal care products, the things that we cook in, clean in, in other words, um, basically non-stick pans, plastic bottles. Does that influence our health? And if it does, how does it influence our health? I think the important part is that we don't do what people think of as traditional toxicology. So Although I'm interested if a chemical kills something, that's really not what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is, does your everyday exposure, the things that an average woman or an average man are exposed to, or if you will, an average alligator or an average dolphin or an average sea turtle, do those constitute a health risk? And if it does, how does it actually compromise the reproductive system? So we're reproductive biologists, interested in environmental health and interested in how the animals around us tell us something about their lives but also if we can learn something about their life can it tell us something about our life and our health.